Good morning and welcome to the next episode of Punk Rock Ham Radio here on YouTube. My name is Alan KM6TWI and I'll be your host. Today I am at Park US 4168 Francis Fulcom State Recreation Area. I thought I'd come down here do some more parks on the air like I always do. And after chasing the space station for the SSTV event, I just had to know, hmm, is there a pass anytime soon? Can I try? getting into the crossband repeater on the space station and in about one hour from now there's a 45 degree path this away and it's probably not going to work but there's only one way to find out so join me you guys and let's have some fun playing ham radio first thing we need to do is get set up there's my ft5 i got my icom 705 in the car i'm going to need to use both of them and i'm going to have to do a little tap dance because it's a crossband repeater so i will be transmitting up on vhf and hopefully hear myself oh is that carlos kilo niner oscar lima km6 twi hey carlos is that you kilo niner oscar lima from kilo mike six tango whiskey india oh he can't hear me anyway so like i was saying it's a crossband rev Peter goes up on VHF, down on UHF. I need to do a tap dance with two radios, is what I'm trying to say. So let's set this up and see what happens. It probably won't work, but if it doesn't work, the experience gained is still worth it. K9OL 580. K9OL, KM6 TWI, do you copy? You're picking up, but I actually made out the call that time. Uh, so according to my GPS, I'm seven miles from uh, Francis Locum on the Mississippi. Is that where you are? Yeah, roger that. I'm right here by the front when you go in on the paved road or right next to the trailheads to Lost Sister Trail and the Easy Access Trail, whatever that is. You take a right instead of going left over to where the shelter is, if that makes any sense. All right, dude, I'll make another call your way once I'm a little closer. According to my map, seven miles. Well, six and a half miles, so uh, shouldn't be terribly long. Okay, copy that. I'm here. Uh, the space station's coming by in about one hour, about 45 degrees up. So I'm going to try and uh, chase that thing. I'll be setting up for that. Uh, other than that, Matt, I'll see you when you get down here. KM6 TWI. By the way, it's a two meter contact and you're inside of the park, so log it. So this is the bag with all of my antenna elements. This is the aero antenna made by aero antennas so let's go ahead and put this thing together and put it up on the stand and try to see if we can get a contact with somebody from the space not on the space station these are other ham radio app operators down on earth we're just using the space station as a relay or a repeater to talk to people all around the world These are the VHF elements. And does that look, does that look correct? Yes, that looks right. And then there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven uh, UHF elements. And just like that, we have an antenna that is capable of talking to space. And I think Carlos is almost here. Well, 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 look who just breezed in the door. It's Carlos, KC9OL. What's up, dude? KC9OL, dude. <laughs> We're all set up now. Um, I spared you the details of you know plugging in the radio, but this is what we're doing. Uh, we got two radios plugged into this antenna, into the uh, VHF section and the UHF. What we're gonna do is transmit up on the 705, giving it all 10 of my watts, and I'm going to listen to the downlink on my FT5 and record to the SD card. It's about a uh, 
45 degree pass to the southwest. So it's gonna come like up this way and go over yonder. And that's what we're doing. It might not work, but there's only one way to find out. So let's go ahead and do that. <laughs> I mean, look, you can't, you can't even attempt it. You, know, you can't even say you tried unless you tried, right? Like you don't know whether it's, what's gonna work or not until you just put it all together and go, Let's try to make it happen. So you know, you're doing the right thing. Right. You're trying I, to make it happen. Like it's, I always say, there's it, only one way to figure these things out is to just go and do, do it. it to figure out what you need to do better next time. So thanks for joining us, you guys. <laughs> this thing's coming over here in like eight more minutes. So we got to concentrate. T minus two more minutes until acquisition of signal. Carlos is gonna do the tap dance with the antenna and I'm gonna play with the radio. If it works for Sounds me. like a plan. I got it in the horizon on my on my scope. So we should be on it right now. I mean, I, I see it over the horizon on the on the app. Okay. I don't. I don't see anything on the waterfall yet. All right, I'm gonna. I'm going to turn this 90 degrees. I'm like, I don't hear a thing. Or you can hold it too. Just, just don't yoink my radios off of the off of the table. Well, you know, I'll try not to. <laughs> Should we just try transmitting into it? It should be like, where it is it? It should be above the horizon right now. Go ahead and give it a try. Okay, I'm gonna go like five, like four kilohertz up. Kilo Mike 6 Tango, Whiskey India from Echo, November 7-0. I didn't hear anything. You should be able to hear yourself on the downlink too, right? I don't know. That's what I think. I'm the last time. Okay, let's try it. Or no, oh. I heard something. Did yeah. you? Yeah, that's the downlink. Right. Kilo Mike 6 Tango Whiskey India from Echo November 7-0. Uniform, right? Roger, Roger. WCWI from Kilo Bravo 2, Mike from Sierra, Echo Mike 66. KB2 MFS WA4 CWI, Charlie Whiskey India, Echo Mike 63, QSL. The QSL call here is Kilowatt Bravo 2, Mike Fox Sierra. Got Roger, Roger, Mike Fox Sierra. Thank you. Seven three. Uh, what's your grid square, please? Whiskey four, Juliet Tango. Kilo. Kilo Mike six Tango Whiskey India from Echo November seven zero. WA four CWI WO three T FN zero zero. W-O-3-T, W-A-4-C-W-I, Echo Mike 6-3, good afternoon. Hey, thanks, 7-3 from FN-0-0. Yeah, 7-3, thanks a lot. Mobile. Kilo Mike 6, Tango, Whiskey, India from the Echo, November 7-0. Zero. Zero, zero. I, mean, I can't hear myself on the down, I don't think we're making it. Kilo Mike 6, Tango, Whiskey, India from Echo, November 7-0. I did, but the thing is, is when it, I can't see where it is on the waterfall because it's coming down on oh, this yeah. radio. Kilo Mike 6 Tango with the India from Echo, November 7-0.
Okay, it should be right to the east now. Kilo Mike 6 Tango, Whiskey India from Echo, November 7-0. Kilo Mike 6 Tango, Whiskey India from Echo, November 7-0. Kilo Mike 6 Tango, Whiskey India from Echo, November 7-0. Wait, so which angle wasn't right? So, when you're doing vertical, this needs to be on the top because this is the driven side. Yeah. Wait, so so it would go... So 180 this. Oh. Oh, uh, no, I, I see what So, you mean. this is the ground leg, so that should be aimed at the ground. Okay, but these are the same, but these are the same length, though. Yes. So it should be, so then, this thing should be 180 on exactly. Okay, well that, that's my bad too. That was fun chasing around the space station again, fishing mailed. I learned a few things I could try better next time. The biggest thing that I noticed is I didn't know where that thing was because I'm transmitting up on the ICOM 705 and there's nothing on the waterfall. The down link is on UHF and there's not really a waterfall on my FT5, so there's a few things I can try better for next time. Either the other way around, just transmit up on the FT5 with all five of its watts and listen to the downlink on the 705. I could just follow the waterfall, the Doppler shifting on that. That worked out great last week for SSTV. Or I could just get a duplexer for my aero antenna so I could just use one radio and not have to do this tap dance with two radios while also having to move the antenna around. The other thing is, I don't know, maybe there's some software out there that'll account for that, but I'm not getting into rotors and all of that stuff. I just want a portable way to go out here and try to talk to space. That was fun and we learned a lot, so it was worth it. Let's go see what Carlos is doing.